Hello, everybody, and welcome to this session. My name is Matias Sosa, and I work as a marketing product manager for OVH Cloud. Today, I'm honored to have the participation of Diana Ferreiro from Tretia, with whom we will discuss one of the challenges that currently exist in the cybersecurity sector and how gamification could help to people and professionals in this world. Hello, Diana. It's a pleasure to have you with us today. Could you introduce yourself and comment on your work and what is this new threat your project? Hello, Matias. It's a pleasure to be here with you and being part of this uh, ecosystem experience. My name is Diana Ferreiro and I'm a former cybersecurity consultant. I've got more than 15 years of experience in the field and I'm also an entrepreneur, co-founding two cybersecurity startups. Our first cybersecurity, uh, our first our startup, iHack Labs, was specialized on virtual cybersecurity training for individuals and teams. This innovative way of training awarded us with an European RRD grant, placing our first position in Spain and the second position in Europe. We were also awarded with a place on the British NCNC National Cyber Accelerator in the UK. This company was sold to Telefónica a year ago, which is the biggest telecom company in Spain and Latin America. So after this company was sold, we still uh, need the um, field to move forward, and that's we create, why we created Threatia Studios. Threatia Studios aims to attract and retain, and, uh, retain cybersecurity specialists with a new innovative concept, which is video games. Okay, so uh, this is fantastic. And the truth is, you know, today, cybersecurity sector is a very serious topic. And I think, you know, mainly because the spectrum of potential victims has grown enormously in the recent years, uh, thanks to digitalization. So do you think there is a, you know, high demand uh, for solution or for professionals? Oh, yes, indeed. We all know that there's a huge shortage of cybersecurity specialists. It's real and it's happening. Right now, there are minus 4 million, 4 million specialist uh, shortage worldwide. This creates a huge opportunity for people who want to jump into the field. One of the biggest problems of the industry is that um, specialists are not fully prepared, are not fully qualified, and they like real life training practice. And yes, there's a huge demand for innovative solutions that can attract new talent to cybersecurity and the scale up professionals without being boring. With our previous experience on teaching, uh, we face the challenge that training has to be engaging and interesting. Well, and you know, it's a big deal. So uh, seeing your your background and uh, the market problem that you are highlighting, uh, I imagine that you know the idea is not to make a standard video game. Uh, I think you wanted uh, to have another kind of influence, right? So, how do you think you know both themes uh, could be merged? Oh yes, uh, we felt the need to make uh, something different and special, and uh, we managed to make it. This game is one of a kind, and you're not going to find anything like it in cybersecurity and in video games. That's why we wanted to merge the two worlds. We want to mitigate the problem, creating a new learning, a new concept of learning, combining these two worlds. Video games have always been fun and exciting, and they're a great platform for integrating education. Well, the world, you know, it's true that the value it can bring is, you know, incredible. And I am being a fervent gamer. Uh, you are going to excuse me, but I, I can't contain my excitement. So uh, could you tell me more uh, about this video game? Sure. We put a lot of care on developing this product. Uh, our producers in the UK created a thrilling narrative, trendy and cybersecurity focus, completing a trilogy of cybersecurity episodes wrapped around in a um, cyberpunk world. 
All of our characters, illustrations, and artwork are owned by the company and I cre are created especially for this game. Finally, which is the educational part, uh, the challenges are created uh, by expert cybersecurity specialists with the highest education in the industry. We have developed a, a unique product and we showed we will create a huge impact. Well, well, I have to say, you know, I'm, I'm finding this video game incredible and, and I have no doubt that it, you know, it will be an exquisite work. Then, you know, what other values could you remark on the video game? We want to remind the higher educational value it has. It has uh, integrated real life digital forensic and hacking challenges that the user will experience um, what a cybersecurity specialist or consultant um, see on their uh, daily life. So this game has 90 challenges, three difficulty levels, and it's with a rapid around and extremely playable content. Well, you know, I certainly can't wait to play it. So uh, just, just one question. Could you tell me uh, an estimated release date for the video game? Yes, it's going to, reveal, to be released this April on the Steam platform. And we'll let you know in advance. Great, great. Thank you. Thank you very much, Diana. And well, you know, I think, you know, cybersecurity concerns in the market will be with you. So I finally, I will ask to you, uh, why do you choose OVH Cloud? And uh, what, you know, what kind of infrastructure are you basing it, this, this platform? Yes, this is a good question because we have been extensively used OVH all over these years with our last startup. And we deployed virtual, uh, complex and massive training scenarios for individuals and teams. We also run uh, important cybersecurity competitions and nothing can go wrong that day. So uh, the reliability of the infrastructure allow us to build a strong product, deliver a strong and reliable services, and, uh, you know, create uh, confidence in us. Uh, this time we have uh, learned that uh, we are going to use the infrastructure to build the back end of the challenges in our game. We use the VMware technology to enrich the challenges. We use the OVH hosted private cloud and the Eastern clone technology for the users, for the dedicated recurses for the virtual scenarios. We are delighted by its flexibility and reliability all over these years. Well, and you know, I'm very happy to know that you know we share these values uh, because uh, this is exactly what this you know ecosystem is all about. And you know, as you can see, and, and summarizing the ideas of this session for all of you, uh, we have a real need for cybersecurity skills right now in the market. And one of the, you know, the learning options come from one of the most booming markets in the, in the recent time, uh, such as, you know, video games. And, and thanks to this initiative from Threatia, based on trusted cloud infrastructure, we hope uh, bring a boost, you know, of cybersecurity skills for the immediate future. So, uh, then, you know, I would like to thank you, Diana, to, to join today. Well, thank you, Matthias, for, being, for giving us this opportunity to present our products, to be part of the ecosystem, and we'll be with all of you today. Thank you. Thanks again, Diana, and thank you very much for, to all of you who have participated in, in this session. So bye-bye, everybody, and see you next time.